And we have separation. A docking confirmed at 7.23 p.m. Central Time, 8.23 p.m. Eastern Time. The Soyuz TMA-19, known as Olympus, now heads back to Earth within the next few hours. Doug Quelock, Shannon Walker, and Fyodor Yurchikin about to come home after more than five months aboard the International Space Station. Uh, we are watching the docking complex. On board the orbiting complex, one expedition ends, another begins, as Expedition 26 gets kicked off under the command of Scott Kelly. I did it, yes. The team here in Houston reporting that uh, all the systems on board the Soyuz TM-819 are uh, checking out. Everything is uh, flying according to plan. Once again, this crew will be landing tonight at 10.46 p.m. Central Time, 11.46 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 10.46 Friday morning uh, there at the landing site. Tarakin and Oleg Novitsky as they head on a two-day trip to the International Space Station. The Soyuz 34 continuing to close in on the International Space Station, parts of the Russian segment of the truss. Of the International Space Station very clearly coming into view now. There's a look at the Soyuz 34 from the space station's cameras as it continues to close in. It's nearly at the very center. Dana 4, скорость 0. Just a few meters now in between the Soyuz and the International Space Station standing by for contact and capture. Contact and capture confirmed at 9.28 p.m. Central Time, 10.28 p.m. Eastern Time, the two vehicles flying high above the Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Peru. Once again, Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, and Pablo Vinogradov have arrived at the International Space Station after close to six hours.